We're here with Ben Allen Lubin after Orlando Christian Prep's big win over East Lake here at the National Fest in Tampa. You had 24 points, nine rebounds tonight in this win. What was working for you, man? It seemed like you got off to a really good start and kind of set the tone. Uh, that's what I had to do. I had to bring energy for my team and so in order to, you know, keep up with them and try to, like, try to set up the tone. So that's all we had to do. I mean, is that your role as a guy like, all right, I'm going to get in there and get my hands dirty in the paint and like, let's, this is how we want to play? Yes, sir. That's my role, and we all have roles, and that's what I did. I came up first, and then that's when we all started doing our roles. You know, I saw you play here last year, and obviously you play with us a lot on Hoopsie, so we kind of know what you're all about, but it seems like there's a little bit more of a step up now to, okay, I need to take on more of a leadership role by my production on the court. Is that is that a pretty fair assessment of where you're at? Yes, sir, because we, we all need a leader to, in order for us to grow. And I feel like if I would have stepped up, then they would like follow behind me. And that's how we're going to build and build up to our chemistry. Yeah, you know, kind of the same question I asked AJ in a different interview. It was like, where have you grown the most as a ball player from your assessment? I mean, I don't know what I see, but what do you see? I see that I've grown as being a floor general and a leader. I'm not really big on scoring and also a defensive player because that's that's defense one game and also being a leader, team leader. So in order for us to win, we had to step up. Do you um, watch a lot of NBA or college? Is there a guy that you like when he's on TV? You're like, I gotta watch this guy. Yes, sir. Who is it? Uh, on NBA, it's cool. I love him. He's my favorite player. Yeah. So I just love the way how he plays and how he gets his teammate involved. And I just he's my role model. I can see that pretty understated and like at the end of the game, like killed us. Yeah. Didn't say one word to us. You know, mm -hmm. it seems like there's a, a parallel there. I get that. Mm -hmm. uh, from a recruiting standpoint, let me shift gears. I know you've had a lot of coaches come through. You told me offline, you know, the schools have offered, but who has offered you up to this point, man? Florida, Alabama, Iowa State, USF, and St. John. That's pretty cool. I mean, those are some, some big time programs, small local place. How does it make you feel to get those already? No, I feel blessed. I feel grateful in order for me to put in the work for them to actually see how I play in my game. Are any of those schools, have you been on any of those campuses at all? I've been to USF. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have been to one of their camps before, and they seem really nice. They have a good facility and campus. Did you grow up in Orlando? Yes, sir. Yeah, so you're home ground. So, like, for you, like, you know, obviously you got a, schools kind of all over the place on your list here already, and I imagine that's going to continue to grow. How much will being close to home really be something that you want to look at? Is that going to be important to you at all? Uh, it will because I like to stay close to family, and in order for them to like actually see how I'm being played, I like to them to come to my games and support yeah. me. So that's that's what, what else I'm will matter for you, like when you look at it. Uh, I just I just kind of just look at it. I just I just love my hometown. Yeah. So the way that I grew up in my childhood, I feel like I cannot leave it. Yeah. I can't forget about it. Are there any other schools maybe haven't offered yet, but they, you know they're going to be pretty active in your recruitment? Uh, I only have one, which is UCF. They okay. Came to um, one of our practice workouts at the school, and they came to talk to me and said they're interested in me. So we know the byproduct of, of recruiting, or the, recru the byproduct of winning is, is up, you know, more recruitment and more schools and doing whatnot. So what do you guys have to do to keep yourselves playing, you know, hopefully all the way to the very end and holding up a trophy at the end of the season? Uh, we just got to keep each other accountable. We can't fall nowhere in the country. We got to just keep going as a team, just go out as brothers. And that's all we got to do. We just got to love each other and just pick each other up. Because once we're down, we, it's going to be hard and tough for us to win the game. No question. Well, we certainly saw a big effort tonight. We've seen it on the travel circuit. And have no doubt that you guys will be a contender all the way to the end. Appreciate the time today here in Tampa. Thank you.